Welcome to Courtside with Kelly Burke. We're approaching the midway point of conference play. Illinois State, winners of six straight, and Northern Iowa, winners of four straight, continue to be two of the hottest teams in the Valley, with both teams still in a two-way tie for first place. Part of the Panthers' success this season can be attributed to Maya McDermott, who's taken over starting point guard duties this season. With higher demands of her, McDermott has certainly delivered, shooting better than 56% in her last four games. In fact, McDermott is the only D1 player, according to her hoop stats, to average at least 55% from two, 38% from three, and 88% from the charity stripe, while hitting at least three field goals, one three-pointer, and two two free throws per game. Missouri State fifth-year senior Sydney Wilson joined an elite club in the Valley, becoming one of just 12 active players to make 1,000 career points. Wilson has long been considered the glue player of the Lady Bears teams, and this year has taken on a more vocal leadership role. She's thrived in Beth Cunningham's offense, which allows the Lady Bears to play more freely and exploit one-on-one -on -one matchups. Missouri State got a massive surprise this January when Hall of Fame and former Notre Dame coach Muffet McGraw paid the Lady Bears a pregame visit before Valpo. Coach McGraw is literally in the door. We're like, our mouths like completely dropped. It was so quiet and we're like, and Paige was sitting right next to me and we both just like stared in like amazement at each other. Like there's no way that she's literally like right here. McGraw had some really important leadership messages. Hearing her say like, it's okay to mess up. It's okay to make mistakes. There's just so many like more plays within the game just to move on um, definitely helped us a lot. Lady Bears head coach Beth Cunningham spent eight years working for McGraw as the associate head coach of the Irish and is also a former Notre Dame standout player of McGraw's. Preseason favorite Belmont has put together back-to-back -to -back wins, including a 56-point statement victory over SIU on Sunday. The 101-45 win was the Bruins' largest margin of victory versus a Division I opponent. Coach Bart Brooks won his 60th game at the Curb Event Center in the process. Belmont's coming off a tough stretch of six straight games facing teams who made the postseason one year ago. The Bruins shook up their starting lineup over the weekend, with current MVC Player of the Week Madison Bartley getting the starting nod. Belmont should also soon get a big boost from defensive stopper Tootie Jones, who's expected to return from a hand injury sometime in February. The Valley Game of the Week heads to Springfield tonight for a showdown between Missouri State and co-league leader Northern Iowa. Here's a look at the rest of this week's Valley Women's Hoop schedule.